uh, extremely excited. It'll be a great game against Clemson, but uh, most importantly, we are in Madison Square Garden, and for me, it's my first time. So uh, it'll be fun, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure everybody else is, too. What things are you hoping to see up in New York? Um, I mean, as far as sightseeing, you know, I want to see everything. I haven't, I haven't been, so I, I want to see as much as I can as possible. But, uh, I mean, I want to get wins, too. So that's, that's what it's about. When you talk about the journey, I mean, obviously you transferring and coming to SMU and to, to get the win the way that you guys won it the other night and then to have it culminate in New York. Mm -hmm. Does it get any better than that for you? And, and I'm sure it was a tough decision to make that switch. Right. Uh, it doesn't get any better, really. I mean, coming to SMU, I didn't know I would have Coach Brown as a coach. And I didn't expect SMU to blossom as much as it has. Um, so, I mean, it's just been, it's been really a blessing in disguise as, as far as it goes. But, I mean, the other day it was a great game. Um, and for me, being my last game at Moody, it couldn't end it any better than that. Is it difficult to keep focus since you're going to the Big Apple up here? Because there's lots of stuff to see there, uh -huh. but you've got some games to play too. Right. Uh, no, I mean, it's not. It's, it won't be hard to keep focus at all because the main reason we are going is to win games and to play basketball. So it shouldn't be hard to keep focused. Uh, we've been places all season where it's a lot of uh, attractions in the, in the town. So this shouldn't be any trouble for us. We just got to go and take care of business. So if Spike Lee shows up, won't bother you? Uh, no, you know, just got to put on a show for Spike. That's all. <laughs> when you talk about the AAC, you know, we talked about before, you know, when the tournament committee made their selections, it mm -hmm. felt like there was some disrespect there. Right. Seeing AAC teams go deep and then seeing you guys finish the season where you are and heading up to New York. Do you feel like you guys are trying to make a statement to the NCAA committee for next year? Uh, I, I believe we are, really. You know, when we found out we didn't make the tournament, that was a big part of us. We wanted to, you know, show them that we, we, we should have been in the tournament. Uh, but, I mean, what's done is done now. So if we just continue to play hard and keep getting wins, then I think they'll understand what they did. And uh, next season for those guys, they should have a good chance to make the tournament. They should. What are the things you have to do to beat Clemson? Uh, really, we just—I mean—we got to play our game. Really, got to get stops, control the tempo, uh, take good shots, get rebound and defend. That's, I mean, same thing we've been doing all season. Really, uh, I sound like a broken record, but it's, we just got to keep on doing the same thing we've been doing. Just playing hard, play harder than them, uh, take care of the ball. I feel like we've been, you know, struggling with turnovers every now and then, a couple games. Uh, and we have slow starts, so if we can come out and start fast and get into them early, then we should have a good chance to win. How important is guard play from a guy like Nick Moore? It seems like in some of your losses, Nick wasn't having some of his best games. I know he's dealing with the ankle for mm -hmm. a bit, um, but obviously he stepped his play up in the last two games. Uh, it's big time, really. I mean, because he's our leading scorer, uh, and he does a lot for this team. Uh, so if Nick is going, uh, it, it gives a lot of guys confidence, and it, it'll pick the tempo up for us. Uh, but we try to get Nick going early. You know, if we have Nick open on the wing, we try to get Nick the ball for an open shot. Um, but he makes shots, and he rarely misses. So if, if he has a chance to shoot the ball, we try to get it to him every time. Coach Brown says he wasn't expecting the three at the end there. Were you guys expecting the three, or did that shock you all? Uh, really, I mean, actually during that play, uh, Nick was open underneath the goal. I mean, he could have easily shot a layup, but I don't think he really noticed it. But, I mean, him shooting a three is a layup. Uh, so, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll take that any day. So, I mean, he, he made it look effortless. It was so easy for him. How different is the mindset of the team now that you guys kind of battle back from the first game, a game like that against a really, really good team? Right. You know, really, I think we've, for, since the NCAA um, NIT tournament, I feel like we've, we've battled back a few times against Irvine, against LSU, and against Cal. I feel like we uh, fought adversity big time in those three games, and that's something we've been doing all season. Coach Brown's been preaching, saying we haven't had a, we haven't handled it well, adversity well. And I feel like uh, for these past three games we have, and that's a big testament to this team. Uh, we're fighting. We want to win games. And if we can keep on doing that, keep on digging in at crunch time, then we should be able to pull out this tournament. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say just quite yet. Three games. I wouldn't say yet. But if we can get a fourth, then we can be comeback kids for sure. Without the uh, home court in, in New York, do you mm -hmm. guys hope to, to not have to come back to, to get out there early and get in front. Uh, you know, I, I hope so. I hope so. Playing at Moody, it is an edge for us for sure. Uh, but really, you know, we've won some big games on the road in conference play. So I felt like we can we can continue to do that in New York. I mean, but it all just comes down to just playing defense, getting stops, and getting good shots on the offensive end. And uh, if we can do that, then we, we should have no problem winning that game.